Breast density may be the hottest topic in breast care today. The, the history of breast care is, is amazing because up until 30 or 40 years ago, we only caught big cancers. We caught them when they were great big lumps. And then mammogram came on the scene. And over a period of years, we've been able to prove that women who have regular screening mammogram every year starting at 40 were able to reduce breast cancer mortality by 30%. This is one of the major benefits that we've made in the past several decades. The unfortunate side of the story is mammograms miss cancers. And these missed cancers can go on for a period of time. And by the time we make the diagnosis with an ultrasound or a larger lump, they oftentimes need chemotherapy and their chances for survival go down. We've now identified that the big problem with mammography is some of the breasts are dense and it's hard to see a cancer. A cancer basically shows up as a white spot. And a breast that's fatty, the background is black. So the white spot lights up like a light bulb. But in a white breast, a dense breast, it's like finding a snowman in a snowstorm. It just blends in. You can't see it. So guess what? All you need to see that lump is an ultrasound. We now have screening ultrasound technologies that we use for women who have dense breasts on the mammogram, and we are picking up major, small, aggressive cancers at a very early screening, at an early stage, where the mammogram, even the... Uh, the, the uh, three, three dimensional mammogram, uh, the 3D mammogram has missed them. So, this technology is life saving. And it's so life saving, it's such a big deal that California has passed a law saying that doctors, by law, must inform patients that if your breasts are dense, the mammogram does not work as well. And there are two screening options that will pick up cancers missed on the screening mammogram one is the MRI. Now, the MRI is just great if you have a real strong family history, first degree relatives, multiple relatives, uh, ovarian cancer in the family, they'll pay for the MRI. So that's, that's one major step for those women who are at very high risk. But most women don't have that kind of a strong family history, and most of the time the insurance doesn't pay. And so now we have the screening ultrasound, and at RadNet, we've, our breast link, we've reduced it to the lowest possible price. So for $199, you can get screened. Now, at first, we didn't know what's going to happen with that test. We purchased it a year ago. We have doubled the pickup of small cancers, and two of the, uh, the three cancers that we've picked up in the last few months have been very aggressive killer-type cancers that were completely missed on the mammogram. This small investment in your health pays off in spades because there's two things that happen when you get the ultrasound. One, you save your life because you find an early cancer. Two, you sit back and relax and say, I know everything's okay. It's another layer of protection, and it makes you confident that you're doing everything right to make sure that if you are to get breast cancer, you're going to catch it early.